Welcome back to Berlin Film Photography. Welcome back to the Paper Exposer Guide. My name is Jakub and today, maybe you already can see it, we are going to do large format. First of all, I want to thank you for all the kind messages I got. Was it via Instagram? Was it via Facebook? Was it via email? To all of those who wondered why they cannot find the app on the App Store, this may be due to the fact that maybe your iOS is not updated to the latest version. But anyway, you can find it via the direct link on my website. But all the necessary links I'm going to talk about today, they will be down here in the info section. And please feel free to check them out. There will be another video extra for 35mm uh, cameras and there I'm going to go in very much detail because this is maybe the largest target group out there. So please understand that uh, it will take a little bit more time because I want to prepare this video very well. Today we won't go too much into exposure because this was on the last video and I will do that very detailed on the 35 millimeter video. Today it's more about technical information. We are not going to use this one. For this one I have a special idea. I'm going to put this one away right now and we will go today with the 4x5, it's a Cinar F2. All the cameras with bellows attached, like uh, of course 4x5s or most of the 4x5s, um, field cameras, studio cameras, they do very well with the app. Also today I'm not going to use the self-made easel. Why is that? The easel we are going to use today is a um, metal easel. You don't necessarily need one, it works just fine with everything else. But we are going to use today the Foma fiber based paper. This one in particular is the Foma Brom variant uh, 111. It's a uh, natural glossy paper. And the reason for that is because today I'm going to expose a portrait job. I like it for that reason, but it's kind of curly and that's why we are going to use the metal based easel. The app itself actually is also great for just checking on your negatives since you tap the focus button and the app goes plain bright white and you can check your negatives and this is the one we are going to expose today, we are going to enlarge today and develop today. This is uh, Laura Beckner, she is an actress from Los Angeles, but also Berlin based. This one um, just turned out beautifully. We are going to do this on the Sinar F2. And now there will be the question again, uh, how does the app again really work? I also got this question, okay, I did not get it for 100%. So again, what's the deal of all of this? The app is basically just a light bulb with certain specification which are very necessary to get the prints you want. One of the steps you have to take care of is just attaching your device to the camera. So in this case, first of all, you have to build a negative holder. Um, I showed you the one on the Hasselblad last time uh, today, of course, the holder will be a little bit bigger and consists of two parts actually. So here's the holder for the 4x5. Again, it's just some simple cardboard. Everything I built for making the app working for myself was actually only out of cardboard. So what we are going to do, um, we basically just set this up on the camera, like here and we are good to go. But for this one we go to have a second part which is this one because this is just for the negative and this one goes here uh, for the iPad since my iPad actually is larger than the camera itself so it has some support and you should always make sure that uh, your devices are supported. So this was maybe like five six bucks in uh, total. In this case I'm just going to position it like this back into the focus tab i 
tap on it, go back to settings and now I set it up like the following. First of all I put exposure delay in one second. This means that once I press exposure there will be one second of pitch black and then it starts to expose with the first color or first filter as you like. And in this case this will be yellow again like in the last video for two seconds and magenta as a second exposure also with two seconds. And then I have the, here the exposure pause mode. And in this case I put 0 0.5 seconds because now I for, the sh for showing you I don't need a longer pause. This comes in very handy if you want to use this app in a very professional way but I'm going to talk about this in uh, later videos. So I just push expose right now and you will register that after I tap on the screen, the screen will go pitch black for one second. I will place the negative on here and then the exposure will happen as we set it. So I press it, one second pitch black and now it goes yellow, 0 0.5 seconds and two seconds of magenta and that's it. So here it is, Sinar F2 on a three-way head so I can put it in every possible position I need to since we are going to project the picture down on the table we want to have it in uh, this position now again the idea about attaching your device to a camera means that your the size of the display should be at least the size of the negative and the size of the negative actually is determined by the size of the camera. So, of course, you would project a 4x5 best on a 4x5 camera with a, a device which has at least the dimension of a 4x5 negative. I don't have to be too precise in the position right now since we are going to use only a section of the iPad. This will be different later on when we are going to use 8x10s, which is hopefully going to happen um, still in 2018. You take your device, you start the exposure mode, you go, you tap expose and then you position your device and that's it, you're good to go. You can now expose your negative through a camera with a device, with an app that takes very well care of your exposure times and your exposure colors which is important for contrast levels and that's it now i'm just going to level this whole thing out everything is set up right now next step again is the step of iteration like last time i will take different sections of the picture and i will do different exposures so that in the end i come up with the best idea of exposure time and then we will work on the contrasts so that's it, we have a sharp image on the easel. So next step, I'm going to set up the app and we go for the test strips. Everything is set up so far. I just check if the exposures are doing well. That's the case. And I grab some of the paper. So remember, I told you we are going to use the former fiber-based paper and maybe you see how curly this one is and that's why I use the metal easel I just take the test paper out put this one in here we go and I start the first ex exposure. I start here, I will go from this side to that side, just for the blacks right now. And go with this direction. It would not have made sense to grow from top to bottom in the picture because we have totally different pieces of information. So also test stripping can be a science for itself. That's enough, one last time. Of 
Okay, that's it. Put it into the tray. So now I went with four seconds for each color, means that each exposure strip is an addition of eight seconds in total. Um, let me get this sharp. Yeah, okay, wow. So in this case we were very close, well not close, but uh, I got the exposure times for test stripping right. That's the result, it's still in the water, 4 and 4, so 8 seconds here, 16 seconds in total here, 24 seconds here. Um, I like the skin tones um, most here if we compare all these sections. So 8 is clearly too bright and in the end I want to have it very dark here and that background. So um, I think we are very close already. I'm going to go for um, 8, 16, 16 seconds but last time, and the, if you remember, um, on the picture of uh, Beirut, Lebanon, I went with uh, more yellow because I wanted to lower the contrast. In that case I'm going to um, raise the contrast by a bit so it won't be 16, um, 8 of yellow and 8 of magenta but it will be, I will go with uh, 6 of yellow and 10 of uh, magenta, no actually 5, 11. So that's the exposure times that I will set up on the app right now. Back on the settings menu I um, tap on the focus, I go to settings, here the settings are set. Mind that we also can use the darkroom mode which is not necessary right now. I go on trigger, the exposure pause is 0 0.2 seconds which is um, completely fine right now because we are not going to dodge and burn. And uh, now what did I say? I said 5 seconds of yellow and 11 seconds of magenta. Uh, brightness on both colors is 100%. I go into expose mode. I press start exposure and since this one is uh, triggered I don't have to worry about the timing right now. That's the result. It's still in the water. Go for um, 8, 16, 16 seconds but last time, and the, if you remember, um, on the picture of uh, Beirut, Lebanon, I went with uh, more yellow because I wanted to lower the contrast. In that case I'm going to um, raise the contrast by a bit so it won't be 16, uh, 8 of yellow and 8 of magenta but it will be, I will go with uh, 6 of yellow and 10 of uh, magenta, no actually 5, 11. So that's the exposure times that I will set up on the app right now. Back on the settings menu I um, tap on the focus, I go to settings, here the settings are set. Mind that we also can use the darkroom mode which is not necessary right now. I go on trigger, the exposure pause is 0 0.2 seconds which is um, completely fine right now because we are not going to dodge and burn. And uh, now what did I say? I said 5 seconds of yellow and 11 seconds of magenta. Uh, brightness on both colors is 100%. I go into expose mode. I press start exposure and since this one is uh, triggered I don't have to worry about the timing right now. Put it into Okay, and we're good to go.
no worries about this black line through the papers, it's just a shadow of the tripod. And that's it. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, hopefully you can see it right now better. So the quality is amazing on this one. Uh, let me go back a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm very, very happy with this one. So as you can see, this is what we came up with. Um, very beautiful portrait of Laura. Here we go with the test strips. We saw where is our exposure times going to be. And also uh, we decided to ha give it a little bit more contrast. I'm going to put them on Instagram once they are dry. Please feel free to check out the links in the video description. Um, there's also the direct link to the app and that's it. Thank you so much for taking your time watching the video. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more in the upcoming weeks on Paper Exposer, especially the 35mm special and feel free to share the video of how making 4x5 prints with the 4x5... Why is it up there? And why actually is there such a big easel here? And what's this? 50 by 60 paper. Well, there's actually a reason to that. I went with the same relations between yellow and magenta. I just extended the overall exposure time and uh, I did not see myself what's in here. So let's have a look. Of course, I made some test strips before. I washed it. I washed it well. And yeah, it worked. Once more, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.